and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so today you saw a little bit of what I do in the morning I always start by feeding my sourdough starter because you guys know I'm obsessed I got ready um, which how I get ready every day kind of depends on the day today Macy has a musical at school so I know we're going to be like going out so I did more of the hair and makeup type of thing which I don't always do um, so today the main focus of this day in the life is going to be prepping for new releases so we have new releases on friday um, of this week on the 8th and i need to put away all of the stock record how much inventory we have of each item and then i need to work on listings the new release video is already done and scheduled so that's great i already have all of the graphics ready so i can post on instagram and facebook um so yeah, we're kind of at the final stretch of what February new releases are going to entail, which is awesome. Um, Jason and I have worked really hard to get everything done for you guys. So we're going to work on that. And then I'm also going to bring you guys along and update you guys on sourdough stuff. Because I know you guys are dying to hear how things are going. Alright guys, so we're going to start by making dividers. So these are all the October dividers that we had before. So what I do is every single new release I update my little tags that have the correct um, kit number. So I'm just going to go through, take all of these guys off and put the new updated um, kit numbers on those. And then once we get to that point, I will be able to start like putting stuff away. But this is always um, a step that... I don't know it, it doesn't take very long to do and sometimes I'll have Macy do it if she's wanting to have like an extra little job but it does take time and it is a step that like has to be done before we can get into actually putting stuff away um, so yeah I'm just gonna show you guys as I'm going through um, after these are done then I'll have a place for all of the different kits so I'll start putting them away and recording all of the inventory numbers so I'll probably just group these two sections together um, just because there's not really much to be said about all of the kits and stuff. You guys have probably already seen them by the point that this video is going to be posted. So that's awesome. But yeah, I think I'm going to just try and plug away, get all of the stuff put away, the inventory numbers recorded. And then, um, I've gotten pretty good at making the listings and doing so in a, like a really quick manner, but there are still like at least a hundred listings every single month so it does it does take time um so i'm hoping that i can get a lot of this stuff done like pretty quickly this morning but we'll kind of see i did make my coffee which you can probably see up there i've been really good about making coffee at home lately um, i'm back in my mocha kick and it's kind of nice because for a very long time i've been in a duncan kick and my allowance has been hurting because of that so anyway, I'm going to keep going with this, take all these guys off, and um, I'll pop back in and like update you guys as I'm going through.
so the dividers are all made and all of the kits are put away um this is all of february stuff and um we have a nice chunk of stuff here so definitely make sure you check out those kits <laughs> um i noticed that there was a few things that somehow got missed so i'm gonna go ahead and get these started on the craft tech now um we just for some reason i did not design sheet two for the um hobonichi cousin for kits 177 and then we were missing a transaction log for the complete kits and i need that so i can package those all up so I'm going to get these on the graph text and then I'm going to get started with all of the um, listings. I already kind of got a little head start on them. I just updated some of the um, some of the kit numbers, but I'll bring you guys along and show you guys that process because I feel like I've gotten it down really quick. And I know for a lot of shop owners, the whole process of putting together listings is a pain in the butt. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. that I have everything cut, put away, I'm moving on to listings. So I just went through and did all the listings for kit 174. And I guess I should say all the main kits. So like all the vertical type of kits, the ones that are like big sellers. So what I do is I have like a set template. As you can see, I have the kit number, I have my logo, and then I have like a screenshot of the actual item and so i put all of the main sellers together because they're all in the same section and um it just makes it easy because every time i'm doing this process i just go ahead and um like use that same template so all i have to do is change the number up here and i just move like i import all of my screenshots over here and just physically just move it over it makes my life so much easier because all of the actual um like setting up work is done the one thing that i've noticed about um creating stickers and also just like doing listings and things is the easier, the better. So if you can create templates for yourself and just have like go-to things, I highly recommend that. That's one reason I think a lot of shop owners decide to like create a sampler for 2024 and then just stick with it. 
Um, that's because it's easier to just change out the designs and colors and not have to like completely redesign something every single time. And the same can be said for um, like listing photos. So I use the same template. It makes it super easy. Again, all I'm doing is changing the number, changing the actual design, and it makes my life super easy. And I actually will go through and do all of the kits for these specific ones so that like I get a huge chunk done at one time. I do the same thing for like A5 Daily Duo. All those kits will be like all put in the same type of listing and then I'll put them in Etsy all together at one time. Um, I just feel like that makes it easier. So I have um, this cutting schedule. So this serves a couple purposes. One, I put together an idea of when I'm going to get stuff done. So I kind of put like the different types of kits and then usually like what day I want to get them done. I also use this for inventory. So I'll take a highlighter and as I'm going through and doing the whole listing process, I will highlight each item so I know that everything is included on Etsy that needs to be on Etsy. So I highly recommend also putting something like this. You guys know I'm a paper and pen type of person, so I just physically write them on there um, and that makes it the easiest. Don't work it out, only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot, cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you, I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? What do you, what do you keep telling me? I'm gonna take a little break from working on listings. I already got a nice chunk of it done. I wanted to give you guys an update on my sourdough. So I made my first loaf yesterday. This is just a plain sourdough loaf and it turned out amazing. Um, so just a little update. I tried to start my own starter a while ago. Honestly, like at this point, it's probably been like a month. And I was getting really frustrated because I would get to a certain point and honestly, like it just wasn't working anymore. Like it would just stop and do nothing. And I'm so impatient, like I can't. I feel like sourdough is definitely a patient person's hobby. So I purchased a um, dehydrated starter from a person that I watch on TikTok. And honestly, for someone like me who is just very impatient and like wants to get started, I highly recommend it. Um, will I ever create my own starter? I can't say for sure that I won't, but I like I don't have the feeling, like the need to do it right now. So anyway, I showed you guys earlier, but I fed it and it has already risen quite a bit. Um, it's been about three hours since I fed it and it hasn't doubled just yet but I'm probably gonna give it until around lunchtime to double it's still dome like so I think it's still going but yeah we have a little bit longer um, so anyway I made my first loaf yesterday and I have a new loaf in the fridge right now I like put it all together yesterday and it's just proofing in the fridge right now. So I think I'm gonna start my Dutch oven in the um, oven right now because the way that my recipe kind of does it is you preheat your oven or you have your oven at 500 degrees with the um, cast iron in it and you do that for like, I think yesterday I did like 45 minutes just so it's nice and hot and then you put the loaf in and all of that and the loaf turned out amazing yesterday so i basically followed the same exact thing but this time i did um jalapeno cheddar because both me and jason really like like cheddar and jalapeno so i thought it would be fun today with the new loaf that i'm gonna make today which i'll bring you guys along with for um i'm going to do um cinnamon sugar for the girls because they love cinnamon bread and i thought that would be a fun thing to add but at some point i'm gonna have to slow down with the bread making because i already feel like we're not gonna be able to keep up if i'm making a new loaf every day but it's just so much fun i love it um so anyway let me go ahead and grab let me start the oven now So I have it going. I also need to grab our Dutch oven, so let me do that. We actually, Jason picked one up a while ago 
for like some stews and stuff that he was going to be um, making, I think. I don't know, it wasn't, we didn't buy it for the bread, but it just turned out nicely that I can use it. So I don't think it's an expensive one at all. Jason definitely would not buy an expensive one, but it works just fine. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'll probably set a timer on my phone or my watch for um, for 45 minutes and then I'll put the loaf in. So, hey Siri, set a timer for 45 minutes. Okay, she has it set. 45 minutes, counting down. Here is my loaf of bread that's in the fridge. So, you can't really tell that it's jalapeno cheddar, but I can definitely see the jalapeno um, and cheddar pieces. So I'm going to leave this in the fridge until it's time, and then I'll put some cute designs on it. But it's like kind of a process like when I was kind of explaining everything to Jason about like you do this and you do that and you have to like make sure it proves right and everything he's like is it worth it and I'm like it's just a fun like a fun hobby I don't know how to explain it it's the same thing as like is it worth knitting a sweater well if you enjoy knitting and you enjoy the process then it is to you and that's kind of the way it is like I know we could buy bread we could buy sourdough from the store do I think it's the same not at all my bread is definitely more crispy and like I feel like it has that more um, sourdough taste but you could definitely buy bread from the store if that's your thing I just I love this process it's so fun like doing the steps and like experimenting and all that stuff so anyway I'm gonna wait for this thing to go um, and I'll be back and show you guys like how I do this whole thing and I'll show you what it ends up looking like I also purchased a like bread cutting thing from Amazon um, so I will also show you guys that because I'll be like cutting some of our bread with that but I wanted to really quickly say hopefully my battery does not die before I get to say this I created an Amazon storefront because I get so many questions all the time whenever I mention stuff that I'm using or that I'm enjoying even just like on my like planning and budget videos people will be like what is that pen that you're using what it's the white out so I created an Amazon storefront it's going to be linked down below I have all of the stuff that I'm using for sourdough linked I also have a bunch of like my Kindle accessories linked I have a bunch of like the girls stuff that we've purchased for them for like Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that in case you're looking for like gift ideas I have like personal home stuff like I have um, some stuff that I purchased for our bedroom once we redid it just like some cute decorations to hold like jewelry and headbands and things like that um, so I also have, I guess I should say, a bunch of Etsy related stuff. So stuff that I use for my Etsy shop. So definitely check it out if you're wondering, if you wanna see like some of the supplies that I'm gonna show today with my sourdough stuff, definitely linked there. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the fridge, head back downstairs, get some work done, and I will be back when I get to show you guys all the fun sourdough stuff. This is happening right now. I told you guys in the last video we got our driveway redone and we needed to get some dirt put in. Um, or some dirt delivered to fill in holes. So Jason and Mila are working on that right now. How stinking cute is that? I honestly remember when we got some mulch delivered the last time in our old house and Jason did something very similar like this with Macy. And I believe they were about the same age. So it's crazy to me that like, I don't know. I'm just so grateful that we get to have these little experiences with them. And I love that Jason's such a good dad with her. Like. She is having such a blast right now, just getting to play in the dirt. It's gonna be messy, but she's having a blast. All right guys, so it's almost time to bake the bread. I think my timer has like another five minutes. Um, I want to show you, I got this bread cutter thing from Amazon. It's also linked in my Amazon storefront, but I'm gonna try it out today and see how it works because one thing that's kind of annoying with the sourdough bread is like it's harder to get Hopefully that stays. It's harder to get um, a good cut, I feel like. And for sandwiches and stuff, it, like, it would be nice to get even cuts. So, all right, we're going to put this bad boy in there. 
I need to like score it and make it look all cute. One thing about sourdough is it is a little bit more of a messy process. <laughs> so I feel like there's been flour like all over my house, which is totally fine. I'm gonna let this kind of air out because I'm gonna be doing another loaf. My starter is still going. I'll probably, um, I'll probably wait until a little bit later to start that one. I was hoping to wake up super early today and get it going because we have something going on for Macy today and I'm just not gonna have a ton of time to like go through the whole process, but it's okay. We'll just have to start it a little bit later. So I have my sourdough bread here and sorry about the angles. I think I left my, um, I left my like tripod thing in the car. So I want to make some cute designs and I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. But first we're just going to make an ear on this side so it can kind of expand. There's some cheese there, so bear with me. I'm gonna make it like a nice, nice cut there. All right, and then you can kind of see it there. And then I kind of want to do Let's see. I'm not sure what I want to do. I should have thought about this before. Maybe I'll just do like similar to what I did yesterday. I just did like some kind of more artificial lines and just put like a little cross design in here. I don't know if it really matters, but I do need to like look up some cool designs so I can do it in the future because I feel like that's one of the fun parts about doing sourdough. I'm so excited to try this one. I just hope it turns out well because like, I don't know, I feel like it's a process and unless you do everything, even if you do, I guess I should say, even if you do everything exactly the same way as you've done it in the past, I don't know if like you'll necessarily get the same result because it depends on like humidity and time of year, how hot your house is, things like that. So anyway, I think that is going to be it. Um, so I need to get my Dutch oven out. Like I said, this is a messy process. I have stuff everywhere. I need to get my Dutch oven out. Um, so I have a bunch of like pot holders and I might actually just put it right on my stove, but I will need the pot holder to get it out. And there's my timer. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. Very, very hot. Whew. You guys see that steam? All right. So, we're going to put this back in there covered. thing saying hey Siri set a timer for 30 minutes okay so I need to cover it for 30 minutes and then I'm going to take it off um, for 15 minutes I'm gonna decrease the temperature to 450 that's what I did yesterday worked out great so we're gonna do that again um, I don't think I need these guys, so let me put that away. But I will need a cooling rack. So I'm just gonna get this out now just so that it's like ready to go. 
but yeah that is that part I want to make sure Jason said we had cinnamon and okay I think we do so I'm gonna need cinnamon and brown sugar which is up above so I'll get that in a little bit but I will need all of these for my next loaf which I'll probably start um I'm guessing around lunch time because it doesn't look like it's done rising just yet so anyway I will show you guys what it looks like when I take um the cover off because I feel like that's kind of cool to see and then I'll show you guys like when it's all done what it looks like and then we'll cut into it I'm gonna try it let's just make sure yesterday we had no butter that was like room temperature so we do have some now so that's good but anyway I'm just gonna get some of the other stuff like prepped and ready and then um, when my timer goes off we'll take off the lid guys so this is what it's looking like oh my goodness it's super steamy don't touch me because it's very hot it's looking good looking really 15 good. minutes with it uncovered and then we're gonna take it out and let it cool for about an hour or two so hopefully we can have it around lunchtime and then it'll be super yummy it smells really good can I have a, a lot of plate? sure a lot of the mm -hmm. ingredients you can see and yeah hopefully it turns out good it's looking good so far so i will keep you guys updated in 15 minutes when all I take right out. here's the love i'm gonna take it out and put it on the rack just to let it dry or cool down the row is pretty good looks very crispy we'll see how it turns out Here's my starter, just figured I'd give you guys an update. You can see it has doubled, but I was looking at it and it's still dome shaped. So I'm gonna give it a little bit longer before I start making my next loaf, which is going to be cinnamon sugar. We got it all ready to go, but hopefully you can see that like around the edges, it's, it's like domed shape. When it flattens out, that means it's at its peak. Um, dome, I think, basically just means, and I'm new to this, so um, take it with a grain of salt for sure, but I think when it's domed like that, it means it's still growing and, like, fermenting. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer. I did feed it a little bit later than what I intended to, but it's looking good. You can see the bubbles in there, but, yeah, it's still growing, so we'll give it some more time. All right, guys, so listings are done. Holy moly. I feel like... I definitely should have taken breaks in between, but I was just trying to get them done. So 146 listings later, and my sheet is all um, highlighted, which is awesome. I always keep this just to be safe, just in case I mess something up, because I am doing it, like I have a method and it's fast, but just in case I like accidentally use the wrong um like listing photo or for some reason like the amount looks weird, I just like to keep it for a little bit. So we are officially all ready for February releases. The video has been up. A lot of you guys have been commenting, which is great. My thought is I've had the custom scripts like deactivated because of all of the Black Friday and like all those sales, but we are officially through all the orders. Everything is restocked. So I think I'm going to either activate them tonight or in the morning, but they'll be up. Just keep in mind with the custom scripts, like the way that we fill orders is like we do them in order of when they come in. So like if your order is placed first, it goes out first with the exception of if it has custom scripts. The custom scripts are just designed, printed, cut when we have time. And so if I have time to fill orders, but I don't necessarily have time to go through the whole process of um, designing, printing, cutting, then your order will be done like when there's time to be done. Um, I feel like 
with the custom scripts, I've put them on Etsy so that the processing time is longer just because it does take more steps. It's not just easy as pulling something out. It's a process and we have the Graph Tech um, customs from machine, which definitely helps a ton. The customs are very accurate. Um, they cut a lot quicker than on the silhouettes, but the designing and printing process is time consuming. So I feel like when we open up customs, we always usually get hit pretty hard. And um, yeah, it's just, it's going to have to happen when we have time to do so. But that's kind of what's going on there. I'm going to um, post a few things on Instagram and Facebook just to like show you guys that the new releases are tomorrow. I feel like it's always good in addition to the new release video to just like give you guys a heads up. Not everybody has time to watch videos and so I try and post on Facebook and Instagram like a little bit later on during the day after the video has been posted just so you guys have um, that and it's like a reminder and then I'll post tomorrow um, again just another reminder. So I think my bread has been cooling. I have another minute of it cooling. So I'm going to head upstairs now. I'm going to cut into it, see if my starter is good because I might start my next loaf. Um, it's a process. Like once your starter is peaked, then you like mix the ingredients. You have to do stretch and fold. I don't actually add the cinnamon or sugar until like late tonight <laughs> um, when I'm like shaping it and about to put it in the fridge. So I... Yeah, it's going to be a long process, but I want to get it started. And then I think I might take a little break from making loaves of bread um, because we're going to have three loaves. And unless someone wants, like a family member or friend wants some, like I don't know what I'm going to do with all the bread. I want to also try some like discard recipes like cookies and bagels and things like that. So if you have those recipes and you've like done sourdough stuff, link them down below. Um because I, I feel like I have like this one lady that I really love her recipes, but I haven't seen any of those just yet. Maybe she'll come up with some. So let's head upstairs and check out our cheddar jalapeno loaf. All right, so this is what it's looking like. I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, I used big chunks of uh, cheddar, like sharp cheddar. And um, I think that's why like the, there's like a little bit more of holes because I think those are big things but like I said it's cheddar jalapeno we didn't have a ton of jalapenos so I don't know how much it's going to taste like it but I put some butter on it's still kind of warm so I'm going to try it that's so good like so good it's really good I think Jason's still outside so I'm going to um bring him a slice because it's really good i think next time i might try shredded cheese because there are definitely like clumps of cheese in it all right guys so it's obviously the next day i completely failed at getting a full day's worth of me filming so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me today as well um it's pretty early in the morning i have to take macy pretty soon to carpool so right now i'm just prepping orders um we have about 16 orders open and new releases go up today so my hope is that we can get out the um, 16 that are currently open we have a nice stack of uh, not customs but like scripts that need to get cut um so jason will be working on getting all of those cut and then when i get back from carpooling i'm going to go ahead and um reactivate all of the customs and also publish all of the listings for february so it'll be good to go there but yeah i just figured i'd show you guys a little bit more of today since last night i did not film the um I ended up shaping the sourdough bread, the cinnamon sugar one, and um, oops, I knew I was gonna do it really fast. Um, so that's all good to go. Sorry, I was just printing the packing slips. So that's all good to go in the fridge. I um, did that right before Macy's musical and it worked great. I feel like the recipe that I've been following and the amount of time that I've been proofing it on the counter has been working so well. So um, I'm just gonna keep 
going with that but I may pop in and just show you guys what that looks like when um, I bake it today and yeah not much else going on Macy does have <clears throat> Macy does have a cheer practice not cheer practice but like a cheer party tonight so me and her will be going to that I'm not sure about Jason and Mila but yeah that is what we're up to today nothing too crazy I feel like the bulk of what I needed to get done for new releases were yesterday and now it's just kind of like random stuff but since I did not film yesterday I feel, figured I would do it today I am reading a book and I was going to talk about that like later on last night but we didn't get the kids in bed until like I want to say like nine it was pretty late because Macy's play was at seven then we went to dinner with Jason's parents after um <clears throat> my voice sounds super raspy today but it's okay so I was gonna read but then I was honestly so tired that like I think Jason put on some random war movie and I ended up falling asleep so I didn't even read but I am reading um a book called The Housemaid and it is pretty good let me just <laughs> phone is getting falling out I'm just gonna like switch this so I can get these going because I want to take Macy to school and I want to get these like printing while I'm going but I've been reading it um it's from Frida McFadden which um I have read a few of her books and I have to say the housemaid one is honestly not the best I feel like the writing is very similar to the co-worker um just like the person which I don't even remember her name but like the maid is just kind of immature like I feel like the the way that she's writing her she's very immature and like the her boss is basically like accusing her of things and she's like well maybe I did it like what do you mean maybe you did it like you either did it or you didn't and she is kind of a history she was like we know that she was in prison for some time so like I haven't really figured out why that is and so I feel like this book is just taking longer to get through just because I'm not that excited about it and I'm not excited about reading the like immature character I also um through Kindle Unlimited found a Lucy score book that's a Christmas book so I'm hoping to start reading that at some point and then through my library I got a book called the seven year slip which I've heard a ton of people talking about I don't know much about it but I have until like December 23rd I think to read it so um I have a couple good books after this one specific book but yeah also <clears throat> I think the reason why I've been struggling with books lately is because of Iron Flame like I read Fourth Wing and then right after I read Iron Flame and I just feel like I took it took me so long to get through both of those books like those are the only two books I read in November and I just feel like it just ruined reading for me for a while I also haven't been able to like really get into any shows either so I've just been having like a book hangover for real and this book that I chose is just not helping but I'm like already a third of the way done so I'm like I might as well just finish at this point so anyway I'm gonna print these and then I need to get going to bring Macy to school but um I will pop okay, back in so all of the orders that were open um are all filled now so I didn't film that part but they're done um we've had a handful of orders coming in already um for the February new releases so that's great and then Jason actually just went um because we are actually missing some albums um I have a bunch of like the like sticker storage down here and we are low on the leather sticker albums this is our last one in like our home office and then we have no more of the floral ones here so he had a run to go and get that um so we do have a storage unit and I've talked about that before but basically when we decided to no longer rent our office space we um, got a storage unit it is temperature controlled humidity controlled it's actually a really nice storage unit because you can drive right into it and then um, they have like dollies and all of that so if you need to carry anything big 
Um, so it's been working out really nice. It's not that far from our house. So whenever we need something, Jason just goes. So I had him pick up the leather sticker albums, the floral sticker albums, and then business cards because I'm getting kind of low on those. But as soon as he gets back with those, I'll finish packing up this one boxed order and then he'll drop them off at the post office. A couple of things about drop-offs, orders, all the things. So first thing is the day that you get a shipping label and it says that your order is out, like it's with USPS or like it was shipped, that's the day that it gets shipped. That some companies do it differently. Like for example, um, our elf purchased some ornaments for the girls and it was through Etsy. We got a shipping notification that it was shipped and I think the post office just got it like and it's been at least a week since like that original email came through that said it was shipped so we are not like that the day that you get it is the day that it gets dropped off there's only been maybe a handful of times where like i'm packaging orders and it just gets really late and the post office closes like either on a friday or a saturday um but for the most part like when it says that your order is shipped it gets dropped off either like early morning or like before like three-ish so just kind of keep that in mind um what was the other thing that i was going to mention i'm gonna talk about when you're or oh um i've had a couple people say that like they contacted the post office that they get dropped off at and they say that they did not get like they didn't get the order or whatever um so the way that it works and this is kind of funny because i feel like we know the people at our post office super well like we drop off hundreds of packages so like they know us we know them they know that when we drop them off we have a like little slip of paper that basically scans in all of the packages and then usually when they have time they individually scan each package now does that happen every time i can't guarantee it sometimes especially when i go in they will do it in front of me but if they're busy if they have a whole line of people they're not going to do it right then and there so if they say like if it says like if it says something like oh we're um like a waiting shipment if that's what your tracking label says they received it especially if it said like accepted at post office or something before that it's just the way that it scans it's kind of weird so anyway um i've had a couple of people say that they reached out and the people at the post office said they never received it um if there's new people at the post office they don't understand the whole process but again we drop them off the same exact day um i just recently had someone who had the same issue and then after like contacting them and everything the item started moving and they got their package so it's just the way that it is especially during the holidays i feel like they get very 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 overwhelmed and busy and so instead of scanning things the way they're supposed to scan it it ends up being that like stuff just gets loaded on a truck and then it could be sitting in a um like a tote or something for a long time until they get to it also sometimes orders get stuck in the like um in the like rollers and stuff and so i've had people say that they ended up getting their package it was a long time from when like i originally shipped it and it looked like a dog attacked it and luckily the stickers are okay because we try really hard to like package things well but the outside envelope was torn up so anyway that's a little bit about that um we've had orders coming in i'm not going to fill those today just because it's a process and there's other things that need to be getting done we've had things sell out so i mentioned before jason's currently working on getting the um, scripts done we want to make sure we get those done because that's again something that just takes a long time um but yeah, anyway, that's a little update from me. All right, guys, so it is Aaron's time. Um, you guys seemed to like the last day in the life where I included some more unrelated uh, shop stuff. So I am in my garage right now. I just started the car. I'm gonna head, I have a bunch of errands that I need to run. I need to go to Ulta. I'm all out of my foundation. I need to pick that up. I also wanted to see if they had like little sample size perfumes. That's one of the things that Macy had on, like she's, it's like an ongoing thing she's been asking for. So I wanted to get like some like kid type of perfume. I also need to get Macy's Cheer Coaches a gift because um, 
I just wanted to like have like a thank you gift for them. They worked really hard during the season. So I was thinking about maybe getting them something from Ulta. Um, I also need to go to Claire's because I want to get Macy some new earrings for Christmas. We're really specific about the type of earrings that she has. I make sure to get like the more like gold types of ones because my ears are super sensitive and I just want to make sure that her ears don't get infected or anything. So um, Claire's always has like not a great selection but like I know where to go in Claire's and I know which ones are good for her because we've used similar ones before. So I'm going to go there. I also want to go to Dick's because... Um, I was thinking about maybe getting Macy and Mila a water bottle, like a bigger water bottle for Christmas, like maybe put it in their stocking or something. So I wanted to see what options they had. I also thought about maybe getting her coaches like a water bottle and I'll put like some gift certificates and stuff in it. I don't know. I'm not super sure, but luckily everything that I want to do is all in the same area. So that's great. Um, I'm going to let you guys go now though, because my battery is blinking. So if I want to get any footage, I'm going to have to do it like quickly and not too crazy. So I'm going to head to all those places and I'll kind of bring you guys along and show you guys a little drive through at Chick-fil-A. I'm getting, um, a kale crunch salad and chicken nuggets, but I wanted to show you guys, I did some damage today. So I will show you guys what I ended up getting. I decided to do something kind of fun for the cheer coaches and I know it's like totally over the top but I just thought like they worked so hard with the girls and seriously had them for like six to eight hours every single week so I just wanted to spoil them a little bit. Um, I also got stuff for the girls and like stocking stuffers and all that fun stuff so anyway I'll share more when I get back home but yeah lots of stuff I'm home and I unpacked everything and we're all ready to go but I wanted to show you guys what I did for the coaches so as I mentioned in my last clip the coaches have done so much they're not paid to do this they are completely volunteering they go out of their way for the girls to make it special the girls have gotten so many little presents that are personalized so I really wanted to go all out for these so I got them these Stanley cups I'm obsessed with mine I have two I have one that's like leak proof and then I have one like this um one of the coaches I know kind of well and she's very like bright she loves like bright pink and red lipstick so I thought this would be perfect for her the other coach I'm not super sure about but they're friends so I'm hoping they like the same thing regardless every single thing that I have here I gave them a gift receipt for so just in case they don't like the colors I chose or whatever um so of course part of their gift is the Stanley cup I also gave them a gift card which is in here I put their names on it and wrote also a little note. got them a like wine face mask which I know they both love wine so I thought that would be cute it's it says red wine so never tried it I got them some Ecos um, lip balm things and then a beauty, a beauty blender and again a, a gift card to Ulta so I thought that was fun I love like I've seen this all over TikTok I'm definitely not original with getting a um, Stanley cup and like making it cute like this but um, I just thought it was such a cute idea for the coaches something special and again not something that like I would necessarily do if they had a ton of coaches but there's two coaches that have just made this year so special so much so that like Macy wants to cheer next year so I just I'm super grateful for them um, but yeah that is what I got for the coaches I got them the same exact things um, I made their names with some vinyl on my silhouettes and then I just used some of the wrapping paper and stuff that we already had or um, I guess I should say tissue paper and I had this from like Christmas last year so I didn't have to buy a ton of extra stuff besides like the actual gift for them which was really nice but yeah a fun way to kind of personalize something for you know someone special to you again I don't know if I would necessarily do this for like everybody but I know these coaches and I know that they're big into makeup and I thought these would be good to have for like the season they want to have water and stuff right, like guys. that. guys time to first turn the bake down to 450 because it is way too high at 500 and now we're gonna take the top off and see how it's looking it's looking good it smells very very good 
so we'll let it go for another 15 All minutes. Alright, here is my cinnamon sugar loaf. It looks a little crispy, but I think that's because that's where the sugar was. So we'll see. It, like other than that, it feels pretty good. When I got it out of the of the refrigerator, I left it in for way longer. Like normally I bake it off at like 10 o'clock and I did not bake it today until like three and that definitely seemed to make a difference. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys here because I'm gonna go and get Mila from school. But I just wanted to show you guys this because I did put it in with you guys. I will cut into it and I'll probably update you guys in another video how it turned out. But that is it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.